he said, what you'll be doing is you'll be putting little red flags on Orkney voles, um, letting them go in this enclosure and watching them all summer. And, uh, and I thought, oh, I don't, think I could, I don't think I could spend all summer doing that. Um, let's find out what this bat one is. Um, so I went to see Paul Racy and he was quite enthusiastic. He said, it'll be absolutely brilliant. You'll be out, you'll be on a rubber dinghy, uh, on the River Dee and the River Don, going under bridges with a torch, trying to find mating bats. And I thought that sounds a bit more interesting, really, than looking at what evolves. Well, Barbus tails are primarily regarded as a woodland species. And at the time the roost was discovered here, it was the first one known in a building. And the reason it seems to be used by Barbus cells is the fact that it functions like a surrogate woodland with all these timbers with crevices. So within it, they can undertake their normal behaviour of roost switching. I think the, the big idea now with NEP is that we, we kind of know that what we've done here is benefiting wildlife, is benefiting biodiversity, but it's about connecting up a wider area. I was just recording the echolocation calls of pipistrels and noticed that there were two echolocating types. There was this sort of bimodal distribution in the frequencies of the echolocation calls. We spent a summer going around roosts and recording these echolocation calls and we found that any one maternity roost contained only one echolocating type of pipistrel bat. And that's something I really wanted to capture because I felt like that and I know a lot of young people have climate anxiety. So that at that point in the book is when she discovers that lots of young people around the world are doing things that can make a difference, especially to conservation. It wasn't a proper advertised activity, but I did advertise it locally and a couple of families uh, you know, decided they wanted to come along. And at this point, I didn't actually know if we were going to find any bats. So we went up into the, into the um, hills at night, complete with kids who were staying up late. Um, and we went to Stickle Tarn, anybody knows that, it's quite an easy route up. But it is 550 metres up, up in the hills. And, uh, and we just kind of waited. 